with 10 children welcome to our english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 3 of your grade 10 textbook today we are going to practice writing sentences let's learn how to describe pictures let's start the lesson children i'm going to teach you how to describe pictures in three steps we'll start with the first step in this step we are going to identify what is in the picture that means the objects animals and people in the picture now let's practice this with an activity you have to study this picture and then list down the objects animals and people you can see when you are studying the picture make sure you take in all the details you can do it this way from left to right or from right to left from the background to the foreground or from the foreground to the background from the middle to the sides or from the sides to the middle let's study this picture from left to right and fill in the grid let's do it together what are the objects you can see from left to right you can see a watering can a plant a spade and a rake Then in the background there are four buildings. What about people? You can see two people here, a girl and a boy. Then animals. Yes, there are birds. Actually there are two birds. Okay children, now you have listed down all the objects, animals and people in the picture. Children, now we are going to move on to the second step. We are going to write sentences describing these objects, animals and people. You need to know two things before you write sentences describing what is in the picture. Prepositions to describe the position of these things and grammar structures to write sentences. We can make use of prepositions to show where in the picture you can see the objects, animals or people. You can use these prepositions to indicate the place or the position at the top or at the bottom of the picture in the middle of the picture on the left or on the right of the picture next to in front of behind near or under Children we have already learned prepositions of place In the second lesson in unit 2 hope you can remember if not you can view that lesson once again on our channel now let's learn useful structures to write sentences describing pictures here you can use there are is and there are if you are talking about something singular you have to use there are is if it is plural there are look at the examples There are is a girl when it is singular and there are girls when it is plural. Now let's write sentences. We'll start with the most important detail. How do we write about the people here? There is a girl and there is a boy. Let's combine both and write like this. There is a boy and a girl in this picture. There is a boy and a girl in this picture. Shall we write about the objects and animals now? This time can you try? Okay. Make use of this substitution table to help you. Let's do the first one together. What about this watering can? You can say there is a watering can. Can you describe the position of this watering can with the help of a preposition? Look at the picture and see where it is. So you can say There is a watering can in front of the girl. Now you can try writing sentences about the other objects in the picture. You can pause the video, study the picture and the substitution table and do it now. Okay, let's check your sentences now. You can write sentences like this. There is a rake on the ground. There is a spade in the boy's hands. There is a plant in the girl's hand. There are four buildings in the background. 
You can see the difference between singular and plural sentences here. For singular ones, we use their is. But for the four buildings, we use their are because it's plural. Now let's move on to the third step. In this step, we will write what is happening in the picture. To do that, you can make use of the present continuous tense in active voice or passive voice appropriately. Look at the two examples. A man is washing a car. That is present continuous active voice. Then a car is being washed by a man. That is present continuous passive voice. If you need more help, you can view our previous lesson on present continuous tense, passive voice once again. Now let's write sentences describing the actions. Here we can write sentences about the actions of the girl, boy and the birds. In this situation also you can make use of this substitution table. This is how you should write. The girl is holding the plant. The girl is holding the plant. Then the boy is digging the soil. The boy is digging the soil. The birds are flying in the sky. So the birds are flying in the sky. You can see the difference between singular and plural sentences here. The girl is holding, the boy is digging, but the birds are flying. Okay children, now I want you to do an activity on your own. With the help of what I have taught you in this lesson, Describe the picture in activity 6 on page 27 of your textbook. Children, that marks the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we practiced how to describe pictures. We did it in three steps. First, we noted down what's in the picture and then we wrote sentences showing the position using prepositions and the structures they are is and they are. And in the third step, we describe the actions using present continuous tense. We use the present continuous tense both in active voice and passive voice. Next time, we'll do a reading lesson. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.